So here I got the the Mac Alti um, shaft that I'm going to be turning here. Still gotta work this part out. Um, the these I gotta smooth it out a little bit. So I already got the thread inside for the bolt, and this is it. So I'll be turning it and. Just uh, making some corrections here. Okay, so here we have the the piece that we're going to cut. It's got right now the the rough cut. And this is the one that is going to be the the bearing housing. And so we're cutting it. This is like a, like a rough cut. And later on, I'll, I'll have to go inside because it's a uh, it's a bigger diameter, the bearing. So I'm gonna have to bore inside and then weld it to a plate that's gonna be on the face of the generator. So now that we have already um, rectified the outside uh, border trim. Now we're ready to do the outer cut with the blade, the inner or the, the inner uh, diameter to rectify so we can get the bearing fit in there. So we can get the bearing fit in here, you know, properly and tight. Then we'll put it beautiful here and ready to be welded. So this it. It's got to be tight and then I'll go for it. So I already did the, the piece that is going to be the cover. Found the center of it. Got a, a 2x4 that I got in here in order to, when I press it, to drill the holes, it will be there. Uh, to put it on the on on this thing here so we can drill first the, all the holes uh, all the four holes then get the bolts on drill the center then go with a wider gap uh, to get the um, this piece here which is the one that I uh, put it in the lathe uh, now this piece, it's uh, I got it in, but it's still not pressed. Uh, as you can see, I took it off, and the way I did it is I did some fine dating here. Then I went a little coarse so it gets stuck in there and it's you gotta rectify it with the lathe here and here of course that's the front but this back part also so when it fits into the plate it's going to be perfectly even so then what I recommend what I'm gonna do is just tack it uh, center wise put the bearing mount it with the outer bolts to the generator and check uh, spinning free before going full welding around it, the plate so that's it more or less 
got it all this piece took a while because I have to bore all this so that the bearing fits quite tight so it just has to be pressed a little bit more and that'll do it later on I might drill some holes here I gotta sand this down make it smoother and that's it so with the 2x4 it's easier once you got it all pressed in here to go right in the center of it and not gonna be any vibration you got it all secure so there. So, okay, so here we ready to drill the right off the center and I have it ready to go and make the hole the hole is going to be a little bit smaller than this of course so we can have a gap to play and set it up and um, still being able to take the plate off and push it push the bearing whenever we need to replace it alright so we got it all cut off and now what I'm going to do is clean it up um, sand it down smooth the plate so I can get good ground to get the the ring on. Alright, so the way I did it, it's uh here we have the generator. What I did is I uh tack it with uh some kind of fast glue that comes with uh with a catalyzer and it's aluminum we put you put first this kind of sand and it accelerates then you add a couple of drops on this and so I got the plate already tagged with the glue and the bearing is there so it's all center um, now I'm going I, I'm just going to go ahead and, and meat weld it but just tacking it I'm not gonna go full I'm just gonna tack like in in three spots or so so I can play with it and then later on but it's gonna hold though it's gonna hold uh, with like three four tacks pretty solid there so that is a plate and then everything goes mounted then later on we can do adjustment with the bolts and whatever it it, it looks uh, Pretty nice. Um, here is a generator. I'm finished with it. I got the, the shaft uh, made already and the, the front plate. I had to make it adapt in here and weld the housing to allow the to house the bearing in place. And it's got. A, I I still gotta put the key in and but they are machines are almost ready to be coupled 